guys welcome to ride on academia we are still on our series on the subsidiary books in our previous video we have discussed the sales day book or the sales journal so in this video we're going to be discussing our purchases journal okay okay which is our second subsidiary book in this case so our purchases journal records all the purchases made by the business on credit that is when the business buy goods goods for resale all right purchases has to do with goods for resale in this case if an asset is was bought on credit by the business it will not be recorded in our purchases journal all right the only thing that is recorded here is when the goods that the business sell on a normal basis on a day-to-day -day basis is bought on credit so we're going to be showing us our format is, is very similar to that of the sales day book. Our format still remains the same. For the purchases day book, we have our date, our particulars, folio, our details and amounts. And our total amount. Okay. Our currency sign will be there. So we're going to be taking our example very quickly. We are asked to enter the following transactions in the purchase day book of Joy Ventures. So, like I said, whenever we are preparing any account at all, the first thing that we must remember is the name of the owner of that account. All right. So to come first is the name of the owner of this account. We'll be raising this. Okay. The name of the owner of this account is Joy Ventures. Okay. And this is our purchases day book or our purchases journal. All right. So we have done that for the month of July 2016. Quickly, we have that on the 3rd of July, we bought goods on credit. Okay. That is this business bought goods on credit from jacob plaza so in our particulars the first name we're writing is the name in this case of our creditor okay when we have purchases we buy on credit from the creditors then still the book we sell on credit to our debtors or our customers all right so in this case jacob plaza is our creditor so we'll be writing the name of our creditor and the date is on the third of july right 2016 so from jacob plaza we bought goods okay at a trade discount of 10 percent so after we finish serving we enter in our trade discount of 10 percent we have four bags of rice at fifteen thousand naira each so our particulars let's continue first we'll be having four bags of rice at fifteen thousand naira So our folio is our reference document, right? And that will be our purchases ledger. So it means after we are through preparing our purchases day book or our purchases journal, we'll be transferring our total amount to the debit side of our purchases ledger, okay? So this is our folio, our reference, purchases ledger. So our details will be four times 15,000, right? And that will be giving us 60,000 Naira. All right. Now, the next one we are having is the same person, from the same person, we bought 10 cartons of soap at 600 Naira each. So we'll be entering that. We have 10 cartons of soap. at 600 naira each so when we go to work it we'll be having 10 times 60 okay you know the value of the soap that was bought 10 times 600 and that will be giving us 6,000 naira i think that was all that was bought that day so we'll be bringing in our total value the total this and this we'll be having 66,000 naira right and then we are asked to less a 10 percent discount in this case, it's a trade discount. Only our trade discounts can 
be shown in our purchases journal or um, sales journal as the case may be. So we are going to less our 10% trade discount. Okay, so 10% of this will be giving us 6,600 Naira. Alright, so when we less this, we'll be having 59,400. Alright, for that, that's for Jacob Plaza. So the next generation we are having is that on the 12th of July 2016. Okay, so let's make. So we have that on the 12th of July 2016, we bought the following items at a discount of 5%, okay, from best deal. Best deal in this case is another creditor. So we bought another creditor. We'll be entering in our date, which is our 12th of July 2016. So the first thing to do in our particulars is to identify the name of our creditor, which in this case is best deal. Okay, so what do we buy from Best Deal? We bought 50 packets of tea. 50 packets of tea are 250 Naira each. So we have that we bought 50 packets. At 250 Naira each. Like I said, our reference for our folio still remain our purchases ledger. Our total will be transferred to the debit side of our purchases ledger. So let's go to our details. So we'll be having 50 for the value of the total value of our transaction or our, our purchases. 50 times 250, and that will be giving us 12,500 euro. All right. And then next off, we bought from him 10 bags of sugar at 2,100 naira each. So we'll be entering that we have 10 bags of sugar. Okay, so when we move to our details, we'll be having for each bag is 2,100. So for 10 bags, we'll be having 10 times 2,100. Okay, and that will be giving us 21,000 euro. So at the end of the day, or at the end of this transaction, our total amounts owing will be adding them, we'll be having 33,500 euro. Now we are told that we are giving a, a trade discount of 5%. Mind you, like I said, only trade discount appears in our subsidiary book. So we are giving a trade discount of 5%. So we'll be lessing a 5% trade discount. Okay, so 5% of that will be having 1,675 Naira. Okay. So when we less that we'll be having 31,825 Naira. Alright. So we'll move to our last transaction. We have that on the 20th of July 2016, we bought goods from Costa Ventures. Just just it wasn't specified which goods exactly. But we bought goods from Costa Ventures at hundred thousand Naira. So we just have Costa Ventures on the 20th of July. So we bought goods from Costa Ventures. And this goods worth 100,000 Naira. So there was no record of any discount given. Okay? So there was no discount given. Yes. Our folder remains our purchases ledger. Transferring to the debit side. Okay? So since there was no discount given, it's just one goods. We'll be moving straight to our total. 
Now, at the end of the month, we'll be transferring to the debit side of our purchases ledger. All right, from here, we'll be moving to our ledger account. After transaction has been entered in the subsidiary book, we will move the total at the end of the month or any specific period to the ledger account. All right, so we're moving our total value this, this, and this. So we getting our total value and then moving it to the next account. So at the end of the month, we'll be moving in 191,225 Naira, okay? So the end of the month is 31st of July. So we'll be transferring to the purchases ledger. So we'll be taking this amount to our purchases ledger. With this, we've come to the end of today's edition on the purchases journal. Please do well to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Like our videos, share with as many as you can. We'll see you in our next class. Thank you.